Alright everybody, we are back with another part here. So we are just outside the potions room, because I feel like that's where it's going to take us to. But the current quest we're working on before we go to fine class is... Professor Sharp wants me to test myself while under the influence of both Maxima and Endurus potions. He'd like me to... He'd also like me to field test a focus potion. I know to find potion uh, recipes at J. Pippin's potions. I already went there. I got all the potions. So I'm going to go ahead and use them. If I can figure out how to do that. I think it's something like... Is it LB? That's yeah, Focus, Maxima, Aduras. So I'll use a... Uh... Excellent. A 10 potion That's class. The there we go. <laughs> so I, like I said, I did most of it off camera. Went back to Hogsmeade. This is how we get Depulso. I don't know why we aren't learning these in Charms class, but whatever. So talk to Professor on. Sharp. I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn Depulso. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. A X A Y. Oh, first time we get we see Y in this act, so. A X A Y. There we go. Depulso. I don't know what this spell is. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should, perhaps. What is Depulso? Repel many types of objects and enemies with considerable force, although it deals no direct damage to foes. Enemies and objects alike can be launched into each other with destructive results. Also, Useful for pushing and spinning objects for a variety of purposes. Okay, I mean, I'll, I'll probably swap that out for... For right now, Incendio. Not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. I suggest having a go at the enchanted book. Accio. Okay, was that our only assignment? I mean, let me wait a second to see if it, uh... If anything else pops up. Yeah. Yeah, it pushes objects and enemies enemies and objects away from the caster. That's pretty good. I just want to see if anything else pops up. It doesn't look like it, so we can go straight to flying class next. Because we're just doing this until Professor Fig returns, so I can get the book and then... Uh, take that back to the map room with uh, old Professor Ranrock. No, not Ranrock. God, I, I, forgot, I forgot his name. Ranrock's the goblin. <laughs> How'd I forget his name? <laughs> it's something rock, right? <laughs> oh, I'm having trouble with it. But this is flying class. We should finally get brooms. <laughs> there we go. One Studying hard. I'm, ex I'm very excited for this part. How hard is this going to be to Who learn how to fly? fall from their broom first? Everybody grab a broom, and we shall get started. Okay. I didn't Mr. get it. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Boo. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up! Up! 
Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Up! One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want them returned <laughs> in one piece. This is brilliant. Well, this this is will take sick. some getting used to. I gotta get used to the turning. Yes. Good. And lean. It's not, it's not hard. But getting well fast done. with that now movement. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? I don't know if I like the sound of that, to be honest. No racing, please, because I'm going to lose very badly. This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. Ooh, that's... What a view! This is actually... <laughs> Wait. Hello! Nice day for a flight! <laughs> a little close. <laughs> this is rather fun. Yeah, it is. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. This is actually pretty sick. So we can use this to fly around the map way easier now, right? I hope it's Whoa. not a race because he's winning. Our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <gasps> How's that dude so quick? Made it. Oh, did anyone else see that? Oh, well done. Have a moment. That was pretty sick. I'm, using, I'm excited to be able to fly around the map quicker. If we're allowed to. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Hufflepuff like you might be interested in some high-flying fun? Uh... I... Yeah, won't we get in trouble? Kagawa seems strict. I wouldn't want to get into trouble. Kagawa won't even notice. Besides, a bird doesn't learn how to fly by staying in the nest. Follow me. It doesn't the seem like I had a choice. Is about to begin. Follow oh, are we flying? Now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Oh, we better not go through the bridge, I was about to say. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Oh God! Ahead of the garden, it's actually a the Hufflepuff common room windows here. just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? I think he has a different broom. I don't think he's using Here's the school broom. Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Oh, that's LT speed burst. Oh, that's now pretty cool. That's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? Can we go to that? Uh, I think that's a Quidditch that's course the over there. Bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. This concludes our tour. Let's hurry back. 
So we have a, a limit on boost. But no limit on just the slight boost. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. That was a freaking moving dismount. Okay. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you hey, for I not following my instructions. I tried to say no. Mr. Clopton, I'm disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. Yeah, I tried to say no. Don't don't blame me. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good fly. Well, sucks. There's no uh, Quidditch this year. Until the next game comes out. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit, those views were worth it. Uh, yeah, I have no regrets. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Oh, is it, do I have a quest to go uh, get a broom now? Because I really want to do that. Are we, are we allowed to go do that? Or is Professor Fig back yet? Because I might still go take a detour and... Uh, <laughs> Go buy a broom. Can I check out the Quidditch? Uh... I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts <gasps> classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. Revelio. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. Okay, so I got three new quests there. Let's open the map real quick so I can go to quests. So, demanding delivery. That's just the side quest. I'm not going to worry about that right now. This is Sebastian Shallow. Sebastian Sallow. So I get Confrigo from this. Confringo? Uh, let's go do r Room of Requirement first. And then I'll go do uh, Sebastian Sallow. I think that'll be the last one before... Uh, there you are. The cross one's duelist to beat. <laughs> should be one more before... Uh, Professor Fig gets back. Oh, wrong way. Where is it at? Let me start actually fast traveling around the map. That's that one. I'll go here. Oh, travel. Way quicker. Look at that. Track undiscovered. Flu okay, didn't get to read that one. Y will protect you from incoming blockable attacks. Yep. Holding Y, follow with stupefy. More nice. Like she doesn't like you. Let me Back switch this back. I still could use a venomous it's tentacula. So this is a room of requirement. I thought this was like wasn't known in the main series. I thought that's what the whole point of this uh, room was. Wasn't that a big thing in the in the in the movie? Like not not many people knew about it. And now I'm about to just learn it as soon as I get to school. Professor Weasley. Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. The 
forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? Off to you, Professor. Yeah, you lead the way in the spooky room. What is this place? This is the Womb of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident, if ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. Like three times, but right? But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. De Palso? This presents the perfect opportunity oh, no. to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Okay. A Y A X Y. Evanesco. I have another one I I I feel like I remember De Palso, but I do not remember this spell. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Here we go. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. I've been wanting to know what Moonstones were for for a while. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Is that... goodness? My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Explore? I mean, it's a, it's a pretty straightforward oh, path, right? Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I get distracted with these things. Okay, like I said, it's a pretty straightforward path, so... Akio. What's in here? <laughs> Nothing's in here. Is this a chest? Or am I... Do I need this to do something else? Creepy. Okay. This thing must be used for something, so... Eh, we'll see. Let's go up here. Oh, okay. So I gotta... There we go. So I gotta climb on top of that. That makes sense. Another fedora. Okay, and I get to slide down. There we go. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! No, not. That's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. By the way, I do actually. Uh, I was looking through the collection stuff, and there is actual in gear. Completely different point. But there is actual Spider Slayer armor. And I got the helmet for it from uh, from challenges, which is sick. I was going to wear it to start this video, but eh. I like the look of the Dark Arts gear. It looks freaking beautiful. 
Oh, it's another one of these. God, this is a freaking big room. About the same size as the whole castle. Bit offended the room, thought I needed a bath. Cheeky thing. Is there anything else? Oh, sharpening. Okay. What's with the lanterns? How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Charms. Somebody sleeping in here? What the heck? Where do they where do they vanish to? Like wh where where do they get taken? What was that? Was that a golden stitch? Can I Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Akio. Can I just ac Akio you? And if I can't, why not? Akio. I did not do what I wanted. Do I climb up somewhere? Am I missing that? I think I'm missing it somewhere back here. Go back through here real quick. I was trying to roll through. I just like climb up to no okay what the heck is what am I doing here no that doesn't look like it's working either hmm Okay. Yeah, I'm lost. Let me switch some spells. Let me get Depulso. Depulso! I have no clue what I'm doing here. Can I not just... There's something. I don't think that was what it needed, though. What else is there in there? Can I try like incendio or something? Incendio. Ooh, I don't. I don't think that's right. 
Well, I'm gonna move on. I don't I don't know uh, how, to, how to access that one. I don't want to spend forever in here. I hope that house elf can find us in here. Oh yeah, this is not creepy. Oh, there he is. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep-seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. Okay, I do have one of those gear items. That's perfect. And a cloak. That's not any better. Okay. That sucks. Something You'll a little better than that. Plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Speak. Okay. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. I will. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Oh, a loop, okay. Conjuring spell, okay. Another spell I actually know. Very good. It, that that when is a spell in Harry Potter. complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? Room of requirements. While resources such as moonstone oh. can be obtained throughout the highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. 
They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I had a bunch I of see. those. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm. Quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. Oh, I forgot I had this. Well, hold up. We're gonna go back to this one. I'm gonna keep my... Main combat ones this way, and I'll keep the pulso. There, that works. Oh, that's pretty handy. So you can have four slots. Okay, conjure a potion table and conjure a uh, potting table. That is a. Enchanted items to be used in Room of Requirements, Herbology, and Potions. Oh, so it's just, just styles. That's all this is. It's all the same small. So, Gothic, Eclectic, Botanical, Scientific. Let's go Botanical. Ooh, that's... Oh, that's the... That's the way to rotate. I want to put it in the corner. There's that one. I only need one. I want to put the other stations, though. Herbology. I like botanical. Really? Come on, now. Guess we're going to do it right here. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. What's your utility? Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or oh, potion ingredients okay. you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Thank you, Professor. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Yes. What are you talking about? Of course I would. Complete the tasks I've given. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. I got plenty. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the room of requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return I to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. Unless 70 is too many, then I have enough. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Oh, can you change the uh, theme of the room? Conjure wall decorations. Okay, that's pretty sick. Um, let's go rugs. How big is the rug? Let's put it in the in front of the. Okay, let's go uh, wall hangings. That's not a very big mirror. Uh, 
Uh, let me uh, get rid of you. I want to change that potting station location. There. Okay. What else do we have? Is the same standing lights. Artwork. Okay. Gazing witch. House elves and mistress. Nurse and baby. Niffler and witch. Gazing wizard. Dapper wizard. Yep, I'm getting that one. And bickering couple. I'm getting dapper wizard. Please be a big one. Ooh, I could put, I could put quite a few on here. That's bickering couple. I want to do Niffler. Okay, that works. We got tables. I like the botanical theme so far, so we're gonna put this in the center of the room. Last thing is seating. There, that works. Let's get out of here. Ooh, I had to do a certain Ugh. amount. Okay. I guess we're doing more rugs. I, I, I put another chair down. So I need wall decorations. Let's put some more artwork up. It's going to be my art wall. Good work. Shall we move on? Yep. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Okay. A. Y. X. A. A. Just a. Give me a second here. I gotta swap stuff out. Altering spell to customize it. Oh, I have to. Okay. Uh, change color. Let's go white. Change visuals. Guess we're going... Scientific. Oh my god. Is that the biggest they can get? What's the smallest? Okay, that looks perfect. Nicely done. <laughs> Got now, the smallest you're ready table. for something a little more advanced. Is there another spell? You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Oh, okay. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Oh, alter the balcony of or the floor of the room. Okay, we're doing the floor. Botanical central floor, eclectic, or gothic. Botanical, I like the I like the tree. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience? Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Um, I'd like something natural and earthy. 
I'd like the room to feel natural and earthy as though I'm outdoors. Yes, I would like that. Oh, sounds perfect. I mean, it kind of changed. I get... Mm. Quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. Is this a new surprise? Or is this just a quick way out of the room? What is going on? An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. I mean, I didn't really need it. I have a bunch of goblins and poachers to fight. I do want to customize a little bit more real quick. Yeah, I still like botanical. Oh, yeah. We're gonna go ahead and change everything in here. Yeah, I like the, I like the vines. No, that's not what I wanted to change. What is with the pots and pans hanging out? Ooh, is that a freaking beehive? Okay, I gotta change it's these walls. Oh, I'm loving this. Already got that one. Yeah, I like the botanical feel. Doorway. Yeah, I like that. So this is a flu, so we got a flu for the... Uh, uh, the entrance to this place. Ooh, even more stuff to change. Dude, that botanical, it just looks so smooth. We're going to change everything. Why am I so addicted to this? This is, this is getting my, like... This is giving me vibes like I like I had in Fallout, uh, Fallout 4. Where I just spent forever adjusting uh, settlements and stuff like that. I just get so invested in it. I want to see it finished. I just wish it didn't make that sound every time we were doing it. No, that's not what I... Give me the wall. Okay, whatever. <laughs> There's still so much more. Okay. Last wall. more up there oh yes that is fantastic okay I'm very happy with that so we got us like new main area now that we can use to explore or use as a base pretty much it says uh, work on spell casting but I don't really is there a dummy I can put anywhere that's actually a good question let me see 
dressing screen. I, I don't see why I need that. Put a trophy in here, I guess. Is there not, like, a uh, dummy? Statues don't have any of those. I feel like it'd be in decorations. I guess not. Okay, well... I'm, I'm very happy with how that looks. Wait, I never even changed the... The ceiling. How'd I... Yes. Yes. You can change the color too? Nah, I like the default. Yes. Okay. That is very good. Can I change you? Yes, I did. Okay, I'm very happy with how that looks. That is amazing. Oh, God, that's a dream house right there. That's fantastic. Okay, well, I think this is where we're going to call it for this part. Next time, we'll carry off with the quest with Sebastian Sal. I got even more quests, actually, now that I think about it. Professor Sharp's an another assignment and a flight, twist, uh, flight test. So we'll probably start straight off with the... In the shadow of the Undercroft, meet with Sebastian Salo. Usual spot near the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. We'll carry off from there for the next part. I hope you guys have been enjoying so far. Make sure to uh, leave any feedback down below. I, I love hearing your thoughts about this game. Is there anything I should uh, v definitely check out? I'd love to hear. But make sure to like, subscribe, and uh, I will see you guys next time. Take care.